Hello beautiful people and welcome back to my channel. So today I am back with a video on all of my favorite, favorite red lipsticks for the fall. Yes, just for the fall because there are so many variations of red lipstick that I wanted to select ones that are perfect for the fall, that deep, deep red and that would suit pretty much all skin tones so yeah if you guys want to see one of my favorite go-to fall red lipsticks then definitely stay tuned and as always please subscribe if you are new to this channel to join the family and let's go ahead and get onto it so if you guys have been following me for a while you know that red lipstick is definitely my favorite i just feel like when i put a red lipstick on it just it just does something even when I have the most minimal minimal makeup even like no eye makeup no mascara I pop on a red lipstick and everything just like goes together and looks perfected and so put together so I wanted to show you guys my fall red lipsticks as I said there are so many variations of red there are blue toned reds like the base of the actual red there are yellow and orangey toned uh, red lipsticks so it's really hard to pinpoint what lipstick is gonna look best for what skin tone but I looked at these lipsticks as like fall shades because they are very deep they're not your bright over-the-top vibrant reds which sometimes I like to rock especially in the summertime but for the fall I like something a little bit deeper like the one I have on right now and the ones I'm going to show you guys and these kind of red tone lipsticks suit from the very pale skin tone to a very deep complexion they just go on really really beautifully Start off with what I have on my lips and this is from Too Faced this is from their melted liquid line I think it's called the Melted Liquefied Longwear Lipstick, and this particular shade is called Velvet, and I, I love it. I love how smooth and pigmented this is. The application is very easy, and the color is stunning, stunning, stunning. I've seen this on a lot of skin tones, and it just looks so beautiful. It's your deep red, but it still has a punch to it. It's still really vibrant, um, but without it being over the top or having like too much orange into it. And I just, I love it. Um, the applicator does get quite messy, not going to lie, but it's very easy to apply. It's just, it's messy, but I don't mind it. The color is great. The formula is great. And I just, I love the way this looks. Now, so the next one is from Tarte and this is their lip paint formula. This is the Tartiest lip paint. This particular color is called Cheerleader and I really like the formula of the Tarte liquid lipsticks. They actually are pretty comfortable on the lips. They're not too drying. They are really long lasting. Now when it comes to liquid lipstick, I don't like a super, super matte uh, liquid lipstick that's going to kind of feel really dry and emphasize on lines on the lips so I try to stay towards the moisturizing liquid lipsticks that are gonna have a little bit more movement they're not gonna be as long-lasting and um, smudge proof but at least it's gonna feel a lot more comfortable on the lips and I find that the Tarte ones do that so here is a swatch now this one has a little bit of a pinkier or I want to say more of like a maroon tone to it. So that's the Tarte one right here. And you guys can see it has a little bit more of that pink undertone, but it's still a very deep uh, kind of vampy red lipstick that is perfect for the fall. This one is going to be a lot more matte than the one that I have on my lips, and it's going to be very long lasting. I love it. I do have a second liquid lipstick from Tarte, and it's from the same line. This one is called vibin and this one is it's just it's beautiful this has more of like a brown undertone to it it is so gorgeous like so gorgeous and again another shade that's gonna go on a lot of skin tone this one is vibin and you guys can see the huge difference in the undertone they are still both red but this one has more of that brown undertone and this has a bit of a pinkier undertone and they are just gorgeous gorgeous vampy shades for the fall i mean they can go on all year round but i find for fall makeup looks these just look stunning on the lips same formula really comfortable on the lips and really long lasting and now we're going to go into something a little bit more affordable but still amazing quality this is from morphe and this is not their liquid lipstick these are their i, I believe it's called like their lip 
creams i'm gonna link everything down below but um this is a newer formula from them and this one is in the shade stunner i do like their liquid lipsticks but i'm gonna be honest they are a lot more drying so i stick to this formula and this color is another beautiful beautiful shade like i just i don't know how to describe them all so i'm just gonna swatch them and show you guys and this is like one of my favorites out of all of them i think this is one of my favorites and it's this one right here and this just has the perfect amount of berry red like just in it it's just a beautiful beautiful color and you guys can see this is just one swatch so it's very very pigmented even though it's super affordable um it's super pigmented and it's very comparable to all of the uh, high-end ones that i'm showing you guys so if you're on a budget definitely check this one out morphe is now available in canada which is amazing we don't have to pay for duties and conversion and all that stuff you can actually purchase it here so i would definitely check this one out it is a beautiful color and the formula alone is really comfortable it kind of reminds me of the melted ones where it does have a little bit of a satin finish it's long lasting it stays on the lips really well and it's incredibly comfortable like really comfortable almost feels like you just have a regular lipstick on but the long lasting ability of a liquid lipstick but it's not going to dry out your lips you're actually going to feel good with it on and this color is super vibrant very very pigmented and i just i love love that shade and now we're going to go on to another high-end one and this is like i've a lot of people talk about this shade because it is that gorgeous. This is from Stila, and these are the Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick in the shade Rubino. Mm, another beautiful, beautiful, vampy red. Now, the formula of the Stila Liquid Lipsticks. A lot of people do rave about it, and I do like it. It is a little bit more on the drier side than what I'm comfortable with, but the color is just so gorgeous. It does have a thicker, creamier consistency, and um, it looks really pretty. Now, this one, even though it's, I find it a little bit more dry on the lips, I don't um, think that it emphasizes on the lines on my lips, which is great, which is what I don't want because then my lips look really, really dry, especially for me who has full lips. It can be very, very obvious and just not attractive at all, but this doesn't do it. And this is such a gorgeous, gorgeous color. It's a little bit brighter or vibrant than the Morphe one that we just swatched. There is the color and that one is called Rubino and it's so pretty. Now this one will definitely last you all day long. Like you can eat, you can do whatever you want. This is not going to budge. Once it dries down, it is like an all day liquid lipstick. Super, super long lasting with the Stila formula. So if you want something that's going to run you for hours, I would definitely check this one out. And you really don't really have to touch it up even after you eat. I find that these last so well on the lips. Super, super reliable throughout the day. So check those ones out. But this is another stunning color. And then last but not least, because I didn't want to give you guys too many, too many um, liquid lipsticks or lips of the same kind of similarities in tones. Um, I just rounded it up to these few ones here. This one is from MAC Cosmetics. So if you are a MAC lover, a MAC girl, definitely check these ones out. These are their retro matte liquid colors. And this one is called Carnivorous. Carnivorous. And I really like the MAC liquid lipsticks. When they first launched, I did find them a little too drying. But I think they did tweak their formula because when they came out with the other shades, I do find that it was a lot more wearable. It was a lot more comfortable. So I definitely feel like they did a little adjusting on the formula of their liquid lipsticks. And I find that I can wear these really, really well. Uh, this one is another deep shade, of course, just like everyone else that I'm swatching here. I think this might be one of the deepest one out of all of them actually now that I'm looking at it I do find that this one is one of those that has that berry brown undertone it's super deep but it looks beautiful on the lips again all complexions 
can wear this one just because of the undertone that it has it's more of a deeper red and it just looks gorgeous on so many people again the formula is really nice it's nice and creamy and you guys can see it's a really really pigmented so color payoff for all of these liquid lipsticks that I'm showing you guys are amazing you don't have to put too much on um, and they will last you really really well now I find the Stila and the Mac one um, to be the most long-lasting out of all of the other formulas that I showed you but they are all really really pretty now you guys can see the difference in the tones of them and you can see this one is definitely the most brightest and vibrant shade and then it gets a lot deeper and the one that I have on right now which is the Too Faced but I just love the way that they look on the lips like you can have almost no makeup on pop on one of these colors and you just look so put together and so ready to take on your day you don't need to do too much with your face because the lips really are the statement and they just show up so well so definitely check these out and if you have already let me know what you think but these are my favorites I am thinking of doing um, another video with my favorite fall nudes and my favorite fall um, like colors like I'm talking berry tones and things like that so let me know if you guys want to see that type of video um, and if this was helpful and if you guys want to see also more sheer lip formulas because I love those kind of lipsticks also especially for the winter time when our lips are a little bit more on the dry side and we want something a little bit more hydrating so I can definitely do that for you guys let me know just comment down below and let me know what you want to see um, and yeah I think this is it for for my lipsticks yeah I have them all right here in front of me these are definitely my go-to I pop them out I have them in my Muji drawer ready to go when I just want something to pop on the face this is my go-to and I love every single color so yeah I hope you guys like this video and you saw something cool let me know if you're gonna pick up any of these products I will link them all down in the description box as always, thank you so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful. Give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you are new to this channel. And I will see you guys on the next video. Ciao!